A package from Uben is always a pleasant surprise. Let's see what we've got this time. Oh, it seems that there's new E7 here. So, we've got a flashlight in a nice box. A P1 headlight lamp, great. E7 extension tube to increase the size of the battery and its capacity and its runtime. Last but not least, some neat looking inductor. So, I got this teeny tiny flashlight from Wuben recently and this is their E7, the newest addition to the ECL, so Easy Carry Light collection. It features dual Osram P9 LED design, a really teeny tiny form factor and can be used as EDC, angle light or a headlamp. It got this USB-C charging, single switch. UI and this is really a great companion if you're looking both for an EDC or adventure light as well. As always, packaging from Uben is a piece of art. We've got a great picture of the flashlight itself, obviously with some marketing bullshit, and then on the other side we've got pretty stats of what can we expect from the flashlight itself as long as company data. Inside we've got another cardboard package with the flashlight picture, and inside we can find neat multi-language manual, a flashlight itself, wrapped with this safety information as well as a bunch of accessories in this cardboard box which include a nice quality wrist lanyard with adjustable length two spare o-rings in case you need a replacement last but not least type c to c usb cable to charge your flashlight but also connect with inductor with adjustable length before first use please remove this blue labeling, as well as unscrew the tail cap to remove the insulation film from the battery compartment. The head strap for Wuben E7 is provided in a nice cardboard box and is quite similar to other straps that I've seen in Wuben flashlights. It has nice stretchy fabric with some silicon panels to help you mount this stably on a helmet for instance and the mount for flashlight is made up of durable plastic. It is perfectly cut out for a standard E7 and you just slide it in or with your clip on until it mounts securely. To unmount it just press this little plastic clip and slide it out. Additionally this strap actually provides a possibility to rotate the flashlight both up and down according to your needs. The mount itself is of high quality and can be further adjusted to your head size. Additionally if you wish to dry clean it you can actually dismantle the straps from the mount without any problem. Thanks to the soft padding at quite low weight of the flashlight itself, it can be worn comfortably for long hours. So here it is, the Wuben E7. It is, as you can see, quite a teeny tiny flashlight with dual emitter and the quality is really superb. The analyzation is kind of matte finish with some glossy aspect to it and you can definitely feel that it's one solid piece of aluminum that everything is well polished, no sharp edges whatsoever and just the feel of this flashlight is kind of premium. We've got dual emitter design and as you can see these optics feel a little bit similar to the X0 that I present to you on the right side. The clip is definitely on the sturdier side and there is a strong magnet on the tail cap to hold the flashlight steadily both horizontally and vertically without any problem. There is a lanyard attachment on the tail cap and although the tail cap itself is quite small due to the granulations and the shape itself, it is quite easy to unscrew it and reveal the portion of unanalyzed threads lubricated with some 
Teflon lubricant and it really looks quite neat. There's a good gold plated spring over there and inside we can find the 1100 mAh battery in 18350 size branded by Wuben. This is a button top cell, however you can use the regular ones because there is a spring down there as well. As we are on the battery aspect, there is an optional extension tube so you can use the larger 18650 battery as well. All you have to do is just screw it down on the already existing threads and then use your regular 18650 battery, for instance Samsung 35E for the highest capacity possible. Looking quite handy and way more convenient to hold it that way, not to protrude your fingers through the optics. However, one thing that I noticed is that as you can see the pattern does not match the threads, so it should be probably a little bit more like this, so the tail cap edges match the overall design. A slight flow, however, on a premium product I definitely noticed something like that. On the business end we have two Osram P9s for extreme efficiency but cool white beam. I think there will be a future version with Nietzsche's 519A if we beg enough for it. However, right now it is a great choice for the majority of users. The beam is nice and smooth with quite defined hotspot, not that much defined on the X0 as you can see, but still providing you this combination beam for most use cases. Optics are obviously covered by glass with anti-reflective coving as it should be. On the top we've got nice USB-C port covered by this rubber cover. I get the impression this really light to uncover so I hope the port is watertight itself. Here we've got a simple metal switch with battery indicator underneath with standard wooden stages with this brilliant 90% or above solid blue indicator. Other stages include blinking blue, red and flashing red so you can get a precise idea on how much battery you have left. The UI is kind of simple, one click for on, one click for off, there's no shortcut to any moonlight or low whatsoever from off, however if the flashlight is on, you hold the switch to cycle through medium, high, low, medium, high in the loop with a moderate speed, double tap for turbo output which is not in the loop, triple click for strobe mode, triple click for SOS, triple click for strobe mode again, so no signaling here, one click to return to the previously used mode in the loop, one click to turn the flashlight off. Obviously there's also a lockout mode, the electronic one, so four clicks from off. And then two blinks, three blinks to indicate the flashlight is locked out. And then the battery indicator will blink on blue to indicate that the flashlight is locked out. Four clicks to unlock it to the previously used mode and that's basically it. So as you can see because of the unanodized threads even if I unscrew the tail cap slightly lockout does not happen so you are relying on an electronic lockout here. As an optional accessory you get the inductor that can act as a remote switch for your headlamp. It is equipped with USB-C charging ports so you just plug in your USB-C cable on one side to the inductor and the other side to your flashlight port. When you do it correctly it should indicate the connection by the blue light. As you can see some trials er errors were required, however I believe you can get used to it and it's a quite handy function if you don't want to use your hands to physically click the switch on your head but rather use it on your pocket with slightly longer USB-C cable. Again I highly appreciate that Wuben did not go the all lights way and offered a standard USB-C charging that you can simply just plug in your standard cable and wait for the charging to begin. The red indicator means charging progress, the blue one charging finish and as you can see on the screen they included 
1100 mAh battery charges in no time. Here are my lumen measurements of the Wuben E7. If you need more time, feel free to pause the video. First things first, here is your turbo runtime graph of the included standard 1100 mAh battery. So as you can see we've got almost 1800 lumens at start according to my measurements and then after 45 seconds we've got the first step down from over 1659 lumens over the course of 15 seconds to around 899 lumens. And as you can see then we've got a second step down but the flashlight already achieving around 40 degrees Celsius. So basically we've got turbo output in two different steps settling up at around 445 lumens for around 1 hour 18 minutes before stepping down to lower modes. As you can see we've got excellent flat output regulation which is good as it should be in this price category and flashlight body is stabilized 39 degrees Celsius so quite warm but definitely not too hot. And as expected in case of high mode here around 416 lumens at start and as you can see no step whatsoever, perfectly flat line for over 1 hour and 22 minutes before stepping down to lower modes with flashlight body achieving 36 degrees Celsius. Alright, but we also got extension tube to utilize 18650 battery. So as you can see here we've got slightly higher output over 2000 lumens at start. But unfortunately, step down also happens a little bit earlier because of the excessive heat. So after 31 seconds, we're stepping down from 1907 lumens over the course of 20 seconds, around 922. And again, second step down happens again later with flashlight head achieving around 40 degrees Celsius, which is your step down temperature. And then, as you can see, we've got 455 lumens with over random of 3 hours 28 minutes, mind you, on a higher capacity to an 18650 battery before stepping down to lower modes and flashlight body here again achieving 36 degrees celsius so slightly better heat dissipation because of the extra weight last but not least the high mode on longer battery tubes so here again a little bit higher output 477 lumens at start and perfectly flat line for over three and a half hours before stepping out lower modes 470 lumens sustainable output with body temperature stabilizing at 35 degrees celsius which is definitely an excellent result judging the two leds However, bear in mind that these are cool white Osram P9 are extremely efficient for this sustainable output, so definitely a great result. So in the beam shot section, I would like to compare the standard Wuben E7 to the quite similar light, the older X0 from Wuben on LH351D5000K90CRI. A little bigger ECL flashlight from Wuben, the X2 on triple Osram P9 LEDs. Last but not least, something more for enthusiasts, the Zebra Light headlamp, the H600 FC model with XHP 50.2 HD 4000K 96 CRI. So we've got three different flashlights from Wuben to let you know what how they compare in the darkness but also something more powerful 18650 powered with high CRI headlamp from zebra light
There is something about this ECL series from Ruben that is storming the market right now and I believe A7 is no exception here. We get quite a powerful light in really teeny tiny package with the extension tube that can extend the runtime substantially. Moreover, simple user interface with genius battery indicator that I always emphasize is a recipe for simple flashlight for masses that can be appreciated by enthusiasts as well. If only it features a version with high CRI emitters or maybe more pleasant color temperature, but maybe we can see that in the nearest future. Comparing it to the previous X0 and X2, I believe Ruben worked a little bit on their build quality, smoothened the anodization and used high quality screws. But I believe they're also working on the optics design as well. The beam is smoother and does not create this tunnel vision as it was in case of X0 optics, thus being more user-friendly and softer to your night vision. Nevertheless, very light rubber cover of the USB-C charging port along with grooves on the flashlight body not aligning with each other create impression of the product released in rush. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have any questions or personal comments, please leave them in the comment section below this video. As always, there will be a coupon code and affiliate link below this video. So if you're interested in this flashlight, please check it out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to support the algorithm's channel and not to miss any future videos that I release. Thank you so much for watching and your support, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.